And as I said, we're gonna um, we're gonna move the villagers off somewhere. Got plenty of rail now. Um, funny, I thought it was. Uh, yeah, no, we do have a lot of rail. Um, not sure where to build it right now. Uh, let's get up on the roof. I think since we're not going to be expanding that way, I should probably build that over here. Just a little complex. Um, not too big. Just very, very simple. And then we'll we'll run them over on a powered line. Yes, I'm talking about you. Bad deal. Bad deal. Very bad deal. There's never any good deals, is there? Man, this is going to take forever, so uh, we will be back in a little while. I never went around and uh, checked the villagers when I originally moved in, but I just clicked on this guy and 21 wheat for an emerald. So, yes please, sir. I'll have as many as you have, sir. Don't know why, but emeralds may come in handy in the future. Do I have enough? I don't, do I? God damn it. Six emeralds, not bad. Thank you, good sir. An emerald for three bread. Bad deal. Bad deal! That's actually a pretty good deal and makes me want to kind of raid the other uh, the other towns for wheat and also replant more wheat. So I will replant more wheat. Alley-oop, alley-oop, alley-oop. Alright guys, I've got some bad news. Um, during the night I was kind of not paying attention. I, um, you know, just kind of AFK while the ores were smelting. And um, one of our villagers, he died. Um, came back too late, and there was a swarm of zombies chasing him around, and then he was a zombie, and we had to kill him. Which is unfortunate, as he's the first that I know of um, villager that have died, um, partially due to our neglect. So, um, anyway, <clears throat> he dropped a rotten flesh, but we're gonna we're gonna give him a send off, or at least an impromptu burial, since we don't actually have a uh, place to bury him right now. Mm, no, I wanted just a few of those. That's it. So we're gonna build him a little. Um, yeah, tools. We're gonna build him a little a little tomb out here somewhere. Um, probably just out beyond this lot over here uh, in the morning because the sun's setting and I don't want the the issue to happen again but yeah this um this kind of uh, reiterates our need for protection from the denizens of the night I'll see you in the morning man have you ever seen someone so peculiar about tomb anyway there we go little grave for him we will move him in the night scrolling so let's get home uh, see you next time. Alright, I've made a load of plans, uh, industrial craft items going through uh, copper cables, electronic circuits, uh, machine block, I know it's a simple one but still, uh, battery generator, and finally the water mill, because we're going to be building a lot of those, and they're all queued up just to go in here, I've got a bunch of resources in here already, so let's get it set up. We're actually going to build a little bit of a mock-up now with dirt and uh, stone and wool actually and um, take it off so it's not a distraction we're also going to throw a stone on the floor pick that up good and we're going to build it over here that's a nice forest better chop that down sooner um we're actually going to start building it on this end here and work through this way uh basically how it's going to work is on either side we're going to have a point oh wow that's fast at digging come on we're going to have a Thank you. We're going to have a deployer. So this is going to represent our deployers. One and uh, adjacent because you know symmetry. Although I think if we offset them, like zigzag them all through, um, we might be able to efficiently wire them a bit better. And yeah, what with the water mills and how do we have to orientate them to pipes? Okay, and then we need the retrievers, which is going to call forth the empty buckets from 
the water mills to be refilled by the deployer and then on top we're going to have the filters so we've got this trio of uh, red power machines, that's the one, <laughs> red power machines on each side with uh, piping coming up up and in to the banks of we'll use this stuff here um, cobblestone for the pipes I think so we'll have a pipe here we'll have to have pipes on the ground as well just uh, bring those up if these ones are the filters these ones are going directly to the things so we can actually Oop. wow it was terrible in fact let's just um, put a little dirt step up so we can get over this side of it a bit easier I hate walking around in the water and we'll get rid of that yeah do do yeah these are the upcoming pipes and for the cabling for those we may have to make them one higher I don't know but for now let's do that and uh, we come across like so and don't know whether we have to bring it down one or not uh, possibly not but for space sake oh man I have to change material already yeah whatever we'll just switch the stone for this Anyway, the pipe will come out. That's not stone. That's aluminium ore. Well, I'm not using it, so aluminium ore. That'll do. So, one, two, three, four. Doom, 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 doom. I know dirt. Need to actually work on that next. Something to help us maneuver better. Three, four. And this is all just piping once again. Five. Let's bring that over. And these pipes are going to feed into the bottom of our water mills. Uh, I'm not sure how many. I'm going to bring them back quite a few. At least 48, 42, something like that. Yeah, and they're going to be on top of these. Yeah. Let's uh, put another dirt block so we can get up this side. I need the gap there, I think, for wiring. But yeah. These white blocks now represent the water mills up here, and they'll just be in a big grid format like this. With uh, I think we can use tin cable because the energy packets from them individually are so low. Um, they'll be able to go down kit tin, which we can then run into a storage facility, which for now is probably just going to be an MFE. Uh, maybe over here with some tin cable running under the floor into our machines over there just a stop gap and then we will build an MFSU power storage device here uh, possibly here who knows we might even run it over there a bit we'll see we'll see but that's basically where it's all gonna go um, there'll be of course the other secondary pipe that will come up under here and then it'll actually mount like that so that is the basic. Oh, man, I am terrible with the block placing today. Also, that was totally random earlier with that weird little funeral th thing. If you can call it a funeral, it's kind of like the kind of funeral you'd give a goldfish, really. Don't fuck up the water. Thank you. Little squid in there in the pit. Yeah. So I think that's why we're going to have it. There's something else I wanted to do. Ah, yes. Since we'll be doing industrial craft, EU dash. Four of them, one of them, and glowstone dust. Glowstone dust. Do we have glowstone dust? Ooh, I know where there might be glowstone dust, though, if we don't have any. Since that's a wizard tower up there, is the glowstone dust still a light in the roof? We don't have to go to the nether yet. We are going to have to go to the nether really soon. It is. And it's totally unnecessary. We got ourselves some glowstone, which went instantly in my mining bag. Cool. Excellent. Leave my door open, of course. All the villagers are a little bit uh, sad right now because of the loss of their good buddy. Poor Vincent. And now that we can do that, we've got cables, and we should be able to just go electronic circuit. We're missing a cable. So let's put the copper cable plans in, shove those in there, put that down there, electronic circuit, 
And they go bam, we've got an electronic circuit. Awesome. See how simple that is. One, two, well, one, two, three, four, and then we've got the glowstone. We'll go into this one and do it for the moment. And what we're building here is the EU reader. This is going to uh, measure the current or packets of energy flowing through. How it works seems to have changed recently. I mean, it comes up as EU per tick zero out. Uh, well, something in something out of something gain average over 40. You know, the ticks is how long you uh, first tick and then per click rather and then la 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 la. Click again. Like if we click on that line down there, so if we can one, no, we can't reach it from down there. These machines aren't actually doing anything right now, so they're not taking any power. But yeah, that's the basics of it. So the first things to build, I think, is bedtime. So I'll catch you in the morning. Good morning, Viet Ferrville. Hmm, that is a terrible movie, though. My God, Robin Williams. <laughs> um, first thing we're gonna do is we're going to build uh we're gonna need we're gonna build one set of this right now just to get some power up so we are gonna build one two two deployers I think did I build I didn't do a deployer did I ah only one I didn't do by the looks of it and that one and then that one dep I think it took a piston it's a piston a chest and redstone okay wood I have wood let's make a couple chests Da -da -da. No, I just need. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. God damn it! Have that and piston. I've got things for pistons. One, two, two pistons. And what else was it? Redstone and cobblestone. So blah. Cobblestone all around it. One, two, three. One, two, three. Like that, one there. That gets us a deployer. And what did I do there over here? Need one of those. Because we might as well make a plan of this while we're here, eh? Save us all that effort in the future. And gonna take some of that wood up for the moment. Just keep that there. Okay, cool. So we're gonna grab a deployer. Now with the deployer filter, we're missing a piston. Oh no. And a chest. Oh no. So we'll just do that and uh, stop picking up random things. So we've got two deployers, random stuff flying around our inventory like nobody's business. As you do, plenty of junk. Picked up a load of junk randomly from the chest in the roof of my house. Yeah, and we're gonna close that for a minute and get rid of that. <laughs> um, you take a filter. So we're going to need some filters. We're going to need some pistons first. So we're going to need um, we're going to need two of those for that, and two more. So we're going to need four of these. So one, two, three. F more iron is needed. Okay. This is how you quickly eat resources. Two, th four. There we go. Four of those. There's the filter. Well, we only need three of these, but still like that. It's good to have it all lying around. A retriever. Leather. One, two. Just enough pearls. Alright, so we got our six machines. And it comes to my attention, did I make a screwdriver? Oh my god, that's not the right bag, sir. I didn't make a screwdriver. Oh, let's make a screwdriver. How do you make a sonic screwdriver? Because, you know, it's all about the upgrades first. The battery, ingot, and a thingy. No, oh, we'll stick with a regular screwdriver right now, actually. Screw, because it's a little cheaper. It's a ingot and a stick, because I can make that right here. With an ingot, and I've got a stick just here. Like that. Now we are pimped. Let's get these down on the old hot bar. And go place them down where they should be. Still a lovely day, high noon. Guys are out working the fields. We are definitely going to have that. We're definitely going to have um, some nice golems working the fields for us. I used realize I'm using a drill on wool, and that's absolutely silly. Uh, 
Ah, I want my wall back. Okay. If we can get out this flow, come on. There we go. Deployer. Retriever goes into the top and the filter into the side. Um, you like that. Then did I say that? Yep, that on the top and then that on the side. Now this always has to be orientated, so this is retrieving from out of there, so its butt end has to be in there, which means its orange side is facing up. Big holes are when it eats through, and then it's got a little bum hole on the other side. There's the bum hole, which is where it poops from. I'll tell you now, because it looks like a bum hole, literally. So we want that one to poop into the deployer, and this one to poop out of the deployer. So, um, I can never remember which way around switch, so... Yeah, that's the one. Oh, fighting, fighting. Stick some dirt there for the moment. We're going to dig that out for pipe anyway, so. Um, yeah, there we go. That's the first machines in. All right. That's cool. That is cool. Of course, these ones are, I think these are like tier two machines. So these require blue electric power. Where is my baggy? don't really have enough to do both and I'm probably going to more efficiently wire them somehow later by running a paneling over but we'll see um, but I'll I'll be able to power them from that back box there quite well then we have to run a redstone signal to all three of these machines and they'll tick they'll tick off on the same on the same uh, timer so that'll be okay and it doesn't lag the world at all you don't really need to do it every like four seconds for you know a good efficient flow Right now we're just going to make some brassy tubing. I've already cooked up some brass. I don't know why I'm seeing it like that. We'll take that out. There's no need for it there. Brass. Yay. Okay. Um, let's just have a stack. Yeah, fine. That's cool. Now we can begin laying down our piping. Good stuff. We don't even need this to be redstone tubing or anything posh. Just regular old stuff. This is actually a really, really um, efficient little design. Oh, yeah, the uh, retriever's got a uh, nice little gooey in there, but we don't have to deal with that at all, really. Um, I wonder if I can just run that straight across. I should be able to actually make this a lot smaller than my own th thoughts. I'm getting a random little, um, random little tick every now and again where I'm just lagging a little bit. Not sure why. Using the drill on wool again. So uh, I'm just going to clear this out and then I'll be back. Okay, it's a new day. I have to go to sleep there. Um, we're nearly finished putting these in. Uh, we're going to go for 30. Um, 30 of the water mills first. And uh, then we'll work on 60. We'll do another section just like this over there. Um, I've tried this with 42 and we can efficiently saturate the system with buckets. I think, yeah, that's another thing. We're, I mean, the most expensive, I think, overall in one bulk is you're going to need a fair few buckets for this, so just to saturate the system nicely. And I should have charged this thing before I took it out. Oh, well. I could make this smaller, but I want some gaps somewhere because we have to run various power lines. I've also made it lower, so it's quite quite low down. Um, I don't think you'll be able to sail a boat through this. So, oh, I don't know, you might. Scrape your head on the pipes a bit. That's all right. That's all right. We'll actually might actually put some gratings in stop to stop wayward adventurers. Shouldn't sail through machinery. One, uh, that's a five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, forty, and then leave a gap here, which actually means we don't need any of those in there. Like that. Just like that. Cool. Absolutely lovely. And they're all rotated nicely. So that's the basic red power frame for this thing. And that thing doesn't deserve to be there either. <laughs> Pick it up. Oh, thank you. Cool. So, uh, oh yeah. Um, I'm thinking about installing a couple of other mods. Um, I've There's a monster mod that adds a load of animals. And it has extra biomes support. Like these things. It has like beavers in and stuff like that. I don't know. I used to use my creatures a lot. I like that kind of thing. Um, mm, We'll see. We'll see. I wonder if I can smelt that down. Can I? Oh, wow, I can. I wonder what I'll get out of it. 
Come on. Really? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow! Okay. Awesome. Yes, sir. Okay. And we needed 30 of these things, didn't we? So, um... I'm going to do the math for a second. Would you believe that I had to go mine for some bloody cobblestone for the 15 <laughs> furnaces? Actually, it was only 14 and a half? No, 14 furnaces we really needed, but whatever. Math. I don't do it. Alright, let's get ourselves some cable, because you know what? We don't need to science that much here. We need some electronic circuits. We need one for each of these. So, one, two, three, four, five, and then we ran out of cable. So, back in with that one. One, two, three, four, and then we ran out of rubber. But we have rubber right there. Okay, rubber. And then we'll make a little bit more. And we'll switch it out with uh, electronic circuit. And then we've got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, nearly there. Nearly there. One, t uh, need more rubber. No more rubber processed. Gonna process some rubber. There's some rubber. Ah, oh, man, I've got the sticky resin out there. I need to do more farming. I'll do some more farming off camera, I will. And, uh, 15, 16, 17. Wait, 15, 16, 17. I can't count. 12. Okay. Gonna go grab some more rubber. Alright, we got our 14 circuits, and now we need. 14 machine blocks. This is gonna be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There we go. We've got 6 so far. I need a bunch more iron. I've got some cooking up, so let's move on if we can to is this RE batteries. One, two, three, four, five. And now we need some more tin in here. Mm, oh, hmm. It would be nice if there was an inventory extension thing for this. Like, uh. Ooh. Ah, you know how, um. It doesn't have to be attached, but you know how uh, the enchanting table um, understands that there are bookcases and there's a certain amount of bookcases around it? What would be cool is if you could have one of these benches like this, but then like mounted in the wall or on the wall, you could have racks, and it would be like your, your, your racks of equipment and tools like in your workshop. That would be pretty cool. While I was waiting, I busted the villager out of uh, two more three more, two more, two more, um, what do you call them, emeralds, and now he doesn't want to trade with me. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen to all, fourteen, and fifteen. Cool. Now, we'll leave that in there, we take that out like that, and we put the watermill in, and go, oh, as many as we can make, and that should be thirty. Thirty watermills. Well, let's not change the sword. How will we ever know where we fight with? Sun's coming down soon. Well, here we go. Power generation. The first of for industrial craft. Of course, we've got to wire all this in. It's going to take a bit of tin. One, two, three, four, five. 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 And then the final ones. Two, three, four, five. And I made five too many. Or not enough, because I didn't come out far enough, I guess. That's fine. That's probably why the extra bit was on, on the length there that I took off earlier. Derp. Probably just miscounting. I'm not a. Uh, wow. Oh, I guess they're not as tall as a block, are they? And then we'll do that and go whack like that. Awesome! Looking pretty swish so far. The uh, the buckets have to go into the top, and the buckets will go in here. And I think this takes about three buckets, I think, to fill this up. And it generates power like that. You can also generate passive power with these things by having them surrounded by all water, as many. And I think they generate something like 0.5 of an EU per water source block around them. So, um, you can make incredibly huge complexes of these, and just by with these and cable, and they'll, you know, just run them into a big giant pit of water or a big water tank. And they can generate some good good energy, but um, I prefer this more complex design here, since it's like we're, uh, we're using the water flow through our baffles here or something to whatever. You know, I like to make it look like it does something, you know, as you can tell by making this goddamn water canal. Um, 
apparently in one of the uh, snapshots this little thing here where I accidentally took a bucket and then messed up the surface apparently in the, in the new snapshot you'll be able to just pour the water back into it and it'll fix itself um, which actually means it's ab you're able to fill up an area of water really quickly so uh, this would have been a lot easier in one of the snapshots but yeah that's that um, that's probably going to be it for this episode uh, we'll get to wiring it in and making the storage unit for it in the next episode until then you may have noticed during the course of this episode I have burnt through most of my resources entirely uh, I think we have one piece of nickelite left that's partially why I made a regular screwdriver yeah one nickelite but we've got let's say that's our supply chest and this is our work it we've got just under a stack of iron um, just under half a stack of tin half a stack of gold, just over half a stack of bronze redstone we're good for a little bit, not lot much though copper, eh, could do with lots more tin, especially if we're going to be making tin cabling um, but yeah, I'm going to do some farming off camera of course alright guys, I think that's a good point to wrap it up um, we got some substantial uh, substantial motion done on the hydroelectric facility uh, we'll continue with that next episode and uh, an idea comes to mind S we, since the loss of Vincent um, we're gonna need a medical facility to facilitate the curing of zombified villagers that's, uh, that's something to do down the road you see um, but uh, yeah I will catch you next time um, have a lovely day, have a lovely week, have a lovely time. Bye!